so we are in photoshop let's create a new document uh, so the size will be with 1920 and the height will be 1080 now hit on create so this is our documents now we need a color plate so in this tutorial I'm gonna using this color plate this is a awesome reddish a red shade of colors you can you can use it just took a screenshot and import in Photoshop so I already uh, took a screenshot of this plate so now I'm gonna just select this and move in Photoshop so let's keep it here and make it small now I'm gonna create the background now click on this adjustment layer and select solid color now pick any color for now hit on ok now move this background layer just below the color layer now double click of this color now pick the color this color for the background the third one okay so this is going to be our background so you can delete the, the original background and you can name it background bg for background okay so here is our color and here is our background now let's type the text now take the text tool from here and for this tutorial i'm gonna using a script font so the font is called ananda black so now type whatever you want i'm gonna type Now press Ctrl T and make it bigger. Now place it center of this document. Now first of all, uh, convert this layer, the text layer into a smart object. Right click of this layer and convert to smart object. This will allow us to gain this effect without doing this stuff again so this is our text so let's do some uh, effects right click of this layer and select blending options now here we are gonna put stroke activate the stroke and in this stroke color uh, use black and the thickness of this size stroke is 4 and the color overlay pick one of color we will change it later now hit on ok now select this layer and press ctrl j to make a copy of this layer now we need to delete the effect right click of this layer and rasterize layer now press ctrl t to open the transform ctrl t and use the arrow key in the uh, upper arrow keys and press for five times one two three four five and is the right arrow five times more one two three four five now everything is okay now confirm it now press ctrl shift alt t to repeat this process so now they are rasterized layer we don't need them now delete. so we have the original smart object layer uh, the transformation we did this is already saved to our photoshop's memory so now select this smart object layer and press ctrl shift alt t again now i'm gonna press for five times three four five now this is completely editable since we maintain the smart object layer 
now double click of this fx here next to the layer and you can change the color overlay so I'm gonna using this uh, for the second one this one so change the total five layers to the uh, color plate the color apply is done now hold shift and select the first layer and the last layer and press ctrl j to make a group and you can name this layer to effect so now our effect is completely ready as you can see so now let's uh, make it a little bit classy by by applying some adjustment so delete the color layer we don't need anymore so now let's uh, do something in background so select the background layer and click on the adjustment layer and select gradient and in gradient use the default black and white uh, preset and the style will be linear and the angle 45 and change the blend mode normal to soft light and decrease the opacity somewhere between 70% okay uh, so everything seems good to me now let's uh, add, a, add a vintage effect like so create a new layer from here and change this co color to black make sure that the foreground color set to completely black and take the paint bucket tool from here and make it completely black now go to filter noise add noise and give the amount around 20 percent it's on ok now change the blend mode normal to screen now as you can see if you zoom in there is a tone effect like uh, like a, a old paper or something like that okay so our effect is completely ready so the magic is now since we converted the this layer into a smart object now we can change this effect to any text anytime we want like just double click of any of this layer smart object thumbnail like this double click of this now this will open up into a new documents so take the crop tool and make the canvas bigger so that we have freedom to uh, change the text uh, with with anything now change the text anything you like like i'm gonna changing the text now just press ctrl s to save this document just ctrl s now see the magic so this is just completely change and give the same effect without doing the process again so i hope you like 